Hey everybody, it's Susanna from Papercraft Planet. Just want to take a minute and show you how to alter digital stamps. Let's go here under File and Open. I'm using Photoshop Elements version 8. I'm going to open up this digital stamp Seal of Love. This is exactly how it comes when you download it. It opens up in my um, photo bin and the first thing I want to do is go under File, Duplicate, and I'm going to change Seal of Love copy to Seal of Love without heart because that's what I'm going to do is remove this heart image from the top of the seal's nose. He's very cute, but I want him for a birthday card for a girlfriend, and I don't want to send her a heart. So um, now that we've saved him under a different name and we know our original image is protected, let's go over here in the Layers palette to where our image sits. You'll see it says Background, and it's got a padlock. If I was to remove the heart image as the stamp appears right now, I would get black instead of a transparent background, and I don't want that. So let's double click on our background image and hit OK, and that converts this into a layer. And you'll know you've done it because it changed to layer from background in the tag. Now we can go over here and select our eraser tool, and I'm going to use my right bracket key to make my brush just a little bit bigger, and I'm going to erase the heart. Now when I get in here close, I'm going to use my left bracket key. I'm going to scroll in, and I'm going to get nice and close. And I'm going to remove the heart completely. And there he goes. Now he looks adorable. You don't have to worry about this grid pattern. Um, your computer printer will not recognize that as a color, and it will print completely white in the background. So now we're ready to print. Let's go under File and select Print. And you can see the transparent grid area has disappeared. I'm going to uncheck the center image box because I want this to print in the corner so that I can save paper. I'm also going to grab hold of this little transform handle in the corner and I'm going to drag this to where it's about the size I would like it to be. And you can see down here in this area that um, it tells you the size of your printed image. So you can see if I want this to be about 3 by 3, if I drag it while I keep an eye on those numbers, I'll know when I get approximately where I want it to be. Perfect. And just hit print and you're good to go. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip on how to alter your digital images. Enjoy.